This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Understand the functions of leaves Learn the different types of leaves Interpret the colorful leaves Understand the importance of compost pit Explain the importance of leaves in cooking food List the leaves used in decorating a house Create shapes with leaves Design toys with leaves now let us start our chapter with the introduction. In the previous chapter, we have learned different types of trees and plants around us. The size of different trees is different. Some trees are big in size and some are small. Some plants will have longer and broader leaves while some other plants will have smaller leaves. Do you know? When does the color of the leaf change? In which season do the leaves get shed? What should be done with the fallen leaves? Why are different leaves used in cooking food? What leaves are used in decorating a house during festivals? How to make the shapes of animals by using leaves? Let us try to answer these questions and learn more about different types of leaves and their uses. First, let us study about the different types of leaves. Leaves are an important part of a plant. Plants need leaves to breathe and make food. Leaves of plants have different shapes and sizes. Some would be longer and broader while some others would be smaller. Their edges and tips will be different from each other. Usually, some leaves have smooth edges, some have rough edges, some will have sharp tips, while some others have rounded tips. Make a note. The large waterproof banana leaves are used as plates to serve food. Now, let us study when the leaves change their color. In Karthik's backyard, there is a big mango tree. Karthik observed the leaves of the mango tree. He found that the new leaves were of light red color, old leaves were dark green in color. The leaves which were about to fall were yellow in color. Make a note. The leaves of an almond tree are of different colors. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Let us know why the leaves of trees fall down. When the chlorophyll in leaves finishes, leaves dry up and fall down. This is called shedding of leaves. When winter approaches, our pot of earth receives less sunlight and the air grows colder. Thus, in order to survive this cold climate, most of the trees shed all their leaves during winter season. When spring brings warm air and fresh water, the tree will sprout new leaves and start growing again. Here, let us know how the fallen leaves and garbage are used as a fertilizer. Usually, trees shed their leaves. But with these fallen leaves, the surroundings look ugly. So, we should sweep the area to keep our surroundings neat and clean. Make a note. Usually, we burn the leaves, waste papers and the garbage whenever we clean. But the smoke released while burning the leaves and the garbage is injurious to health. Instead of burning the garbage, it should be dumped into the compost pit. Compost pit In Kartik school, there is a big mango tree. The members of the school sweeping committee sweep all the fallen leaves and papers etc. daily 
and throw them into the pit. In the same way, the leftover food collected after the midday meals is also thrown into the pit. After a few days, these wastes decay and become a good fertilizer. This fertilizer is used for the plants of the school garden. This is called composting. Make a note. A compost pit is a pit in which garbage can be used as a fertilizer. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Let us study the importance of leaves in cooking food. When Karthik returned home after school, he smelled curry cooking in the kitchen. When curry leaves or curry vepaku and coriander leaves are added to the food, it gives a good taste and smell. Leafy vegetables are good for health. But wash leafy vegetables properly before cooking them. Match the following. Look at the pictures and match them with their correct names. Till now, we have learnt about the different shapes, colors, tastes and smell of the leaves. Now, let us study which leaves are used to decorate our houses during important occasions. Generally, the houses are decorated with the leaves of mango, coconut and banana during festivals, marriages and faves or jatara. These decorations with leaves make the house look beautiful. Let us know about the leaves used to decorate the hands. Every one of you might be aware of henna, gorintaku. We apply henna during festivals, marriages, birthdays, etc. It was Priya's birthday. She wore a new dress and applied henna on her fingers and hands. She showed henna to all her friends in the school. Everyone said that it was very beautiful. We have learned that leaves are used for decoration. We can also make different shapes with leaves. Karti collected all the fallen leaves from the school ground and in his house. He pasted the leaves on a white paper in the shape of animals and made a picture. All the children saw the pictures made by Karthik and appreciated him. Here, let us learn how to make a windflower toy with leaves. Priya saw Karthik playing with a windflower. Karthik, where did you buy this windflower? I made it myself. Karthik, teach me too. Okay Priya, process of making wind flower. Step 1. Take some leaves and cut them into squares. See that the length of all sides is equal. Step 2. Cut into the corners of the square as shown in the image below. Step 3. Take the cut corner from the top left side of the square and bring it to the middle of the square. Continue the same process moving the left hand corner to the middle of the square and then insert a thorn or nail. Step 4. Insert the leaf into a soft twig or a straw of millet or choppa bendu. Step 5. When we run by holding this wind flower made of leaves, it spins like a fan. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding.
Keywords. List of keywords are shown on this screen. Summary. Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. Leaves are an important part of a plant. Plants need leaves to breathe and make food. Leaves are of different shapes and sizes. Some are soft and some are rough. Some have a saw or rough edge and some have a smooth edge. Some have short tips and some have round tips. Some are big and some are small. Generally, young leaves are light red, old leaves are dark green and dried leaves are yellow in color. The leaves fall off from a tree during winter season and new leaves will sprout in the spring season. A compost pit is a pit in which garbage can be used as fertilizers. The leafy vegetables like curry leaf, coriander, spinach and others are good for health. Leafy vegetables should be washed thoroughly before cooking them. The houses will be decorated with the leaves of mango, coconut and banana during festivals, marriages and fades or jatara. Henna is used to decorate the hands. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow-up work. Take up the following activities. Collect some leaves and touch their surface. How do you feel? Are they soft or rough? Observe and write them in the table. Collect some leaves and fill the tabular column given below. Tell and write the names of leaves that have a good smell. Name the dishes in which we can use the given leaves. When do you decorate your school with leaves? Which leaves do you use? Collect some leaves and make different shapes of animals and birds. Show them to your classmates and friends. Exhibit them on the school wall. Discuss with your friends and make different toys with leaves. Write down the similarities and differences between the leaves of lotus and hibiscus. Collect the information of leafy vegetables that were cooked in your friend's house in the last two days. Fill the table with the particulars. Collect some leaves and keep them in your notebook. Remove them after a week. Paste them on a chart. Exhibit them in the class. Grind hibiscus or mandara leaves and apply it on the left hand. Grind henna or mehendi and apply it on the right hand. Observe after two hours and say what happened. Put different leaves in hot water. Take them out and observe them after some time. What changes do you notice? Collect some leaves like coriander or dhania, mint or pudina, eucalyptus or nilagiri, tamarind or chinta, amla or vusiri, neem or vepa and tulasi. Cover your friend's eyes with a handkerchief, give any leaf to him and ask him to identify the leaf by either smelling it or tasting it. Drawing Skills This section helps you to sketch images in a step-by-step -step manner. Click each tab to know more.
test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Friendly Leaves.